Hey guys, hey guys. So, my name is Anita D'Souza. I'm a chartered accountant and a financial coach. I'm the founder of Committed to Excellence Coaching and I help business owners, entrepreneurs, individuals understand their financial health to get on top of their finances so they can maximize their income and live the life of their dreams. So here it is guys, happy Friday. Go Anita, go Anita, go Anita, go Anita. <laughs> I've got issues. <laughs> so I'm so happy to do a live video today. Um, yesterday was uh, mental health day and I wasn't able to go live simply because I had our lovely little Nyla who would have taken over the entire video. So here I am uh, filming or videoing or in a live video um, on the topic of the five ways Debt can affect your mental health and what you should do about it yeah so I've had someone join me I wish I could see who this person is I've had two people join me so whoever you are hello I would love for you to just type a message in the comment box let me know who you are where you're watching from and yeah let's let's make it interactive <clears throat> so today as I said I'm talking about how debt can affect your mental health did you know that people with significant debt are more than twice as likely to suffer from depression than those who have no debt worries? Now, let me clarify something. You know, you can have debt, but not have any debt worries, okay? So it doesn't really matter um, about, you know, how you feel when you have debt in the sense that um, if your debt is under control, okay you're on top of it you're aware of your financial health and you're dealing with it in the most efficient way then you're not going to be worried about it you know um and so i just wanted to bring this topic up today getting on top of your finances is not just important for your from a financial perspective but also from a mental health perspective you know i'm always talking to friends and family about how i feel that schools should teach people about you know how to manage their finances or, or hi Ian Wilson hi Ian how are you um, so yeah so I, I always talk about how schools should um, you know I don't know include some kind of financial education in the curriculum um, I, I know back when I was at school so a long time ago <laughs> um, we didn't have you know financial education and I just think it's so important for, you know, the young kids, our youth growing up today to understand, you know, how debt can affect you, how important your finances are. Um, and so, yeah, you know, for me, financial education led me into getting into debt when I was in uni. So I have been there. Like, I, you know, typical credit card letters that come through your post and it's like, oh, you know, you can get a credit card with us, blah, blah, blah. And I thought I was at uni, I'm an adult now, you know, let me get a credit card for extra cash, right? And so I went and got a credit card and it was such a silly amount, like such a small amount, right? But I was missing the, um, the payments for the minimum payments, um, which then caused like, uh, you know, charges, right? One of charges. And then I'll get the interest on my balance, which was very small. But all that happens, hi Ian, all that happens is that it just keeps building and building and building. And you end up, you know, getting into, it's like a, a bit of a small snowball effect where it started off as nothing, but then in the end, it just grows and grows and grows. And then you start panicking and not knowing how to handle it. So for me, I've experienced being in debt. It's, it's not a nice thing at all. And I feel like, it can be avoided if we have the right financial education it can be i mean if schools aren't doing then we can do it at home we can educate our kids on how to um handle their money and it doesn't have to be in a way where you know we're putting so much pressure on them to understand you know financial um literacy but we could just you know play little games you know there are little things that you can do with your kids that will teach them about you know handling money and how to deal with money without overwhelming them with the knowledge you know um i will be doing a video on, on how we can you know teach our kids and educate our kids on you know financial literacy and how to handle money in debt and all those kind of things um but that'll be later on in the future okay so um back to the topic 
I'm going to ask four questions, all right? Um, and these questions are to figure out whether or not debt is effectively affecting you in a negative way, all right? So here are the questions. Question number one. Do you often feel anxious when thinking about how you will manage your monthly repayments? Do you often feel anxious when thinking about how you will manage your repayments? That's the first question. Question number two. Are you struggling to or do you routinely miss the minimum payment towards utility bills, credit cards, rent or anything else? I'll, I'll repeat that. Are you struggling to or do you routinely miss the minimum payments towards utility bills, credit cards or rent? Number three. Do you avoid calls from unknown numbers <laughs> and ignore letters from creditors? So do you avoid telephone calls from unknown numbers and ignore letters from creditors? And the last question is, are you able to set money aside for a sudden and unexpected uh, you know, reductions in your income, such as redundancy, car expenses or emergency repairs? Hi, Sarah. How are you, girl? Okay, so I'm talking about debt here. So yeah, if you have any questions, please just put them in the comment box and I'm happy to share ideas with you. Okay, so question number four. Are you able to set aside money for a sudden and unexpected reduction in your income, such as maybe a redundancy, car expenses, emergency repairs? Are you able to do that? Okay, so if you answered yes to any of these questions, not all of the questions, just even just one of those questions, then you want to consider getting help to organize your finances better. Okay. If any of those things stood out to you and it's something that you do, it is very likely that you just need help on getting on top of your finances. It may not be a situation where you're terribly in debt, but you are not managing your money well. You're not managing your money effectively to the best you know where you can so that you can maximize your income because obviously if you're paying less interest you're paying less charges you're consolidating your your debt or you're you know you're getting a lower interest rate effectively you're maximizing your income because you're gaining more income from, from treating your debt properly okay so yeah so that's a bit of advice you need some help if you said yes to any of those questions now i'm going to talk about the five ways debt can affect your mental health okay so the first way is you may suffer from sleepless nights okay obviously if you have things in your mind even if it's a subconscious thing you may struggle to sleep right and so how important is sleep well sleep plays a vital role in good health and well-being throughout our lives okay so getting enough quality sleep at night can protect your mental health physical health quality of life and safety because obviously if you haven't slept you're not in the right frame of mind there's things that you'll do that you're not even thinking about whether it's right or wrong or whether it's good or bad you know so um you know it's really important to get good sleep also during sleep you know our bodies are working to support our brain function and to maintain our physical health so if you're not sleeping properly you're missing out on the amazing things that our body's trying to do for itself okay <clears throat> Number two about um, sleepless nights um, or the importance of sleep. Um, people need different amounts of sleep, okay? But I would definitely recommend a minimum of six hours. So if you're doing anything below six hours, you are definitely not getting enough sleep. So I really hope that all of you out there are getting enough sleep. Um, also, um, lack of sleep can make you gain weight, okay? So it is said that short durations, um, you know, are, are give you a stronger risk of obesity. Now, I'm well aware that everybody has their ideal body weight, right? Whether it's big or small, you know, we're all beautiful. But the truth of the matter is, it's okay as long as you are healthy, right? And so, uh, what was I gonna say? Sleep, um, you know, sleep deprivation can actually increase, you know, um, weight and then it can help, it can increase your obese, it can make you obese, sorry. Um, and so just make sure that you're getting enough sleep. Lack of sleep can also improve, um, it can also affect your concentration and your productivity. Um, you know, poor sleepers have greater risk of heart disease and stroke. 
okay so these are all things that can affect you so badly um, and lack of sleep can affect your immune system you know so you might get colds regularly you might you know feel weak you might feel down you know all these kind of things could be because of lack of sleep and to me i guess sleep is a natural medicine for our bodies and so do get as much sleep as possible don't be on social media don't be you know uh chatting on whatsapp just put your health first and you know go to sleep at the same time every night well that's what we're supposed to do we're supposed to have a consistent night sleep um and sorry we're supposed to have what is it yeah well it's supposed to be consistent so we're supposed to go to bed at the same time we're supposed to wake up at the same time and then our bodies naturally get used to that so i'll definitely suggest that you um you know have regular sleep so the second thing okay that debt can do to affect your mental health is cause anxiety panic attacks and depression okay and these are things that should not be taken lightly so we should do all we can to protect our mental health okay um you know if debt is one of the reasons why you know you're lacking in your um so you're not feeling um up to your best self you're not being your best self then get some help get some help on your debt okay um number three the abundance that we wish could we could have can be affected by debt so when you're in debt okay you are not experiencing life at its fullest basically okay so and i'm not just talking about you know financial abundance i'm talking about you know having peace of mind having the abundance of peace of mind um have you know having the abundance of you know being present you know being present with your family with your friends living in the moment and enjoying every moment as we should okay i'm also talking about just being able to feel gratitude about your life you know um hi whoever that was <laughs> I can't see whoever gave me a like just now just say hi in the comment box so I can give you a shout out <laughs> um so as I was saying that you know um debt can affect you know the way we we see things the way we perceive our lives the fact that we're alive the fact that we are able to make a change in our lives that alone we should be grateful for okay and but when you're in debt and you have so much worry you have so many issues and so many concerns you can't see the positivity in your life because it just takes away all that joy so if you are in debt get help hey Dennis how are you <laughs> okay so if you are in debt definitely get help okay um, hi Constance how are you doing I love saying hi to everyone I should be really carrying on but anyway so the next point is when you ignore debt right it seems to somehow grow bigger because if you are like kind of blocking things out it grows bigger in the sense that you may be getting more interest charges you may be getting more random charges you may be even getting yourself into more debt because you're not acknowledging the previous debt that you have okay so it is not a good idea you know to avoid your debt if you avoid it it ends up becoming a bigger issue right but if you are in debt now and you want you know to just get on top of it to feel better to not have it affect your subconscious mind because sometimes we think when we ignore things they just go away well actually our brains and our bodies are more intelligent than that in the sense that our subconscious mind allows us to do a lot of things um you know without even thinking about it so if you deep down know that you're in debt and you're trying to ignore it on the um kind of forefront of your mind in the back of your mind you are aware you're in debt and you'll be making decisions which are probably not going to be the best type of decisions you can make and you'll be doing things which probably could be done better um and you think you're doing your best but you're actually not so definitely just face your fears face the issues that you have and deal with them head on right um and then the last thing i'll say is um number five is that being in debt can affect your work life and your family life okay as you as you know like if you're in debt and you have money issues in your mind you can't be the the wonderful happy bubbly you know person that you are because you've got like other issues that are really suppressing your happiness and your joy okay so don't let debt affect your mental health affect your mind affect the way you deal with friends and family and work deal with it 
okay in every situation like in life everybody's going through stuff i realize everybody has their own issues everyone has their own battles but the point is that instead of ignoring our battles our debt our issues let's face them tackle them one by one take one step and another step and what you'll find is that when you take your first step doors open like the people that you need in your life will come into your life you know the the calls that you need will will somehow appear the 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 person that can advise you on your financial situation or whatever issues you're facing will appear but you have to take that first step do not just ignore you know your issues your debt and all that face them head on now if you are in debt and you don't even know where to start or what to do and you know you're completely panicked and you think that it's it's worse than it is sometimes actually you might think your debt is a hundred times worse than it actually is and when you face it head on you realize that oh it was actually that bad because sometimes in our mind we make things out to be a lot more than they actually are so when you bring it into perspective and you start dealing with it you'll find that it's manageable you can get the help you need okay so here are my tips of, um, for getting out of debt consider a debt management plan okay so that's the first thing consider a debt management plan like this is something i do something i can help you to do but at the same time there are so many agencies nowadays that can help you for free okay so number two set and stick to a budget <laughs> this is like one of the main things i drum into my clients my friends my family set a budget and stick to it this will change your life okay um and number three reduce your monthly spending like sometimes we randomly buy things we don't need you know and we can avoid that the best thing to do is to budget for it my favorite word for today budget <laughs> you can budget for it and then you know that it's part of the money that you have that you could spend but if you're just randomly spending using your credit card here and there you'll find out that you don't have you spend more money than you actually have which means that you are putting yourself into debt so reduce your monthly spend number five increase your income so find ways of making more income if it means you know getting a side hustle if it means asking for a pay rise you know if it means um investing you can get money from investing you can get interest from investing this is another thing about financial health financial literacy investing is an amazing thing like once you see your money growing you want to start investing more and more so start investing start investing your money put in little small amounts of money aside and you'll find that that money will grow and grow and grow and the last thing i would say is consolidate your debt so if you have like several different types of debt different rates of interest and all that consider consolidating it again this is something i can help you with but there are a lot of agencies out there that can you know help you for free okay now if you're in debt and you're waiting to be saved by the debt by the debt angel right i have been sent here to tell you that you shouldn't waste your time <laughs> do not waste your time nobody is coming to save you in any issue that you have nobody's come to save you right you have to save yourself Put yourself first, put your mental health first, put your physical health first, put your emotional health first and sort yourself out. Get the help you need, okay? Um, there is so much help out there. I've said it like three times now. There are so many agencies out there that can help you for free. I'm a financial coach and I'm a chartered accountant and I love doing this actually. This is my passion. So if you do not want to go anywhere else, you want to come to me, I'm happy to help you, okay? Now, if you're a business owner and entrepreneur um, and you want help to get on top of your finances and understand your financial health, if you've got a business and you don't know whether or not you're doing well, or you're, you know, you're achieving your goals, or you even haven't even set any goals, get in contact, okay? If you want to set yourself up for 2020, which is literally just around the corner, okay? Hi, Dawn! If you want to get yourself set up for 2020, an explosive year, right? Then what I suggest you do is get in contact. Let's set some goals, let's set some targets, and let's get you where you want to be next year. This year has been actually one of my 
the best years of my life i have to say it it's been so amazing like there's been so many good things that have happened and i've loved every moment and we're in the last quarter we need to make it work we need to make the last quarter work so don't sit around don't think oh i'm not sure i haven't thought about it maybe i think about it just get in contact with me a free 15 minute session is all you need to know whether or not i can help you okay um, and then also, please feel free to share this video to, you know, your friends, family, whoever. Um, and, you know, also feel free to like my um, my business page. If you like my content, if you like what I'm talking about, a lot of the stuff I'm talking about normally is motivational, it's financial, it's um, things that will just uplift you, okay? Um, hi Dawn, good to see you. So definitely get in contact. I will, um, I will post my business page down below as well as my 15 minute free session if you'd like to just get a call with me um and then also um i'll just say have a fantastic weekend guys it's friday Woo! friday 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 <laughs> i seriously have issues i think um but yeah have a lovely weekend guys you know put your mental health first put your physical health first and put yourself first do what you can do to make yourself whole, to make yourself whole for your family, your friends and everyone around you, okay? Because you are important. You are so important. You know, get yourself out of debt if you are in debt or get on top of your finances if you are not really sure of what you're doing with your money. And yeah, have a fantastic weekend. The last thing I'd like to say is, and the last thing I'd like to leave with you is, I believe you have everything inside of you to achieve greatness. So what are you waiting for? take action that is key take action guys i'm gonna love you and leave you and take care lots of love bye before you leave don't forget to like and comment subscribe and click that bell to follow me on my other platforms my links are below click on them and they will take you straight there take care bye